Hey everyone, it's JW from Trade the Fifth. I'm going to show you how to set up Trade Station for the first time if you bought the Elliott Wave and or the Black Box Indicator and the Radar Scanner to get it going. This is what it's going to look like when we are done. If you see here on the uh, Radar Scanner, it's actually showing a short on the ES to enter at 2804 is the suggested uh, range. Of course, you're going to look at all your other indicators too uh, but to give you an idea of what it looks like but here we go you are going to right click the bottom of your trade station new workspace it's going to be nice and blank you're going to enter a matrix because you got to be able to place a trade i'm going to put this down over here make it probably about this big trading apps button some people's trading apps buttons are at different on the bottom or the sides or the top but just the your smoked out gray button there trading apps you're going to add a radar screen you're going to shrink this down because you don't need it that big i'm going to put it over here and then I'm going to add a chart analysis now we are not, let's go over here, let's blank this out real quick. Now, do, 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 do. I'm not clicking on the right button. No, it's not what we want to, but we'll mess with this in a second. Mm -hmm. We are going to make this window here. I'm going to save you some time on, we're going to put three windows over here, but we're going to do this on one. Man, this ES drug jumped up. Check that move out. Wow. 24 ticks and five minutes. Not a bad deal. We're going to pretend like you just got your email from Trade the Fifth got your Elliott Wave, you're going to hit download, download. They're going to pop up down here depending on your email system. I like to save them to the desktop so that they are available for down the road. So after you've downloaded those and you'll have your black box uh, one also, we're going to use these mtf.cloud settings down the road in this presentation. I'm going to go back, you're going to right click the chart insert analysis technique now right now you see them in here because I've already put them in before but they would not be there it would just be percent change and then down from there you're gonna click import using import export wizard make sure you click the second one import easy language file ELD ELS or ELA if you click any of the rest of these the file will not it won't find that file type on your computer. Click Next. Hit Browse. I've already got these in here because I have them on the desktop, but if you downloads, they're in there. Usually you can look in your download folder. Uh, since I saved them to my desktop, I have them on my desktop. But we're going to go on there to Elliott Wave Trade Station. Now I need to erase version 2 because this is the updated one so that I don't accidentally put the old version. But for now we're going to highlight Elliott Wave, click open, click next. It's already pre-checked, you just click next. All of those are pre-checked. Click next, click OK. Say yes to all because I already have these in here. Click OK. And OK again, voila. Your Elliott Wave is loaded into the window. It's not active yet. We're going to go down to Insert Analysis Technique again. Now we're going to put the black box in. Pretend like black box is not there. Click Import using Import Export Wizard. Import Easy Language File, ELD, ELS, or ELA. Browse. Black Box Breakout Version 3, which is the latest one. Click next, next, finish, 
OK. Yes to all because I already have them in there and it's saying do I want to replace it. Click OK. It imports all of them. Click OK. And now you're going to right click. Insert analysis technique. Now all of these things are on here. So you're going to click the top one, hold your shift button down, click at the bottom. You can manually put them all in there. I'm not lazy. I just like to do things with the least amount of clicks possible. Click OK. And they all auto populate into your chart. Now you're going to get this user runtime error. This is from not having your license key yet in the settings. You are going to right click format analysis techniques. You'll notice that the black box breakout and the Elliott wave are off. That's because you don't have a license key in there yet. We're going to highlight Elliott wave status turns it on format and we'll go down to the license key that's just the one that comes standard make sure you have the placeholders in there or it will not work and click OK now click black box breakout it is off on the status hit the status button turns it on you click it again turns it off on now hit format same way with this one you're gonna go in here and put in your black box code I think I've done this enough times that I can almost remember the code. Click OK and click close. And now you see we're going to widen this chart out for now. I'm going to zoom in. And you need to right click the chart background dragging enable it and that gives you the ability to widen this out so you can see your stuff now if you're anything like me I don't want uh, all these levels in here uh, the suggested levels uh, getting in and your stop loss I like them out of the way so you're gonna right click the screen format analysis technique you're gonna go to black box breakout format and show entry exit labels it says true we're going to change that to false click OK and they're gone you still have the levels I know what they are uh, I don't need to know the number because I know when the candle gets close to it that's where we're going to be let me go through that one more time right click the chart Format analysis techniques, black box breakout, format, and under show entry exit labels, false. It, it'll say true before, change that to false. Click OK, close, and you are in there. Now, I'm going to save you seven minutes a window, maybe longer. To duplicate this window for multiple time frames, we're going to right click the window, go down to copy window, go over to your empty space over here and click paste window. Don't accidentally hit copy window or it'll erase everything that you've copied. Paste it. The wonderful thing about this is you do not have to enter your license key again and go through all that stuff of entering them. Now you right click over here, paste window. And you have a third window in here now. All right. We're going to change the time frame. This one we're going to put to three minutes. Click anywhere on the chart so that it highlights that window. Go to three minutes. Click on this one. It's already on five, but we're going to do it anyways to five minutes. Click on this window. Click your clock up top. Change it to 15. 
And let's see. There we go. Now we have all three windows set up. We're going to go over here to the radar scanner. We're going to set it up. You're going to right click. Format Analysis Techniques. And you're going to notice from your download that you uh, did earlier from your email, it's going to have a file in there called Black Box Breakout RS that is Radar Scanner. You're going to move it over to the right side. Move it back. Move it back over. It's in here. I like to move it up one underneath Interval. Click OK. And now you gotta put your, now it says format. If you click out of there, if you right click it anywhere on there, if you right click the box, it's not gonna give it to you. Make sure you go down to either interval or anywhere inside the box. Your format, black box, RS. This is where you need to put in your black box code again. Click OK. And now we need to put some symbols in here. So we're going to do at ESM19 at YMM19 at MQM19 at ESM19.D YMM19.D and and we'll add oil CLM 19 and gold GCM 19. All right, if some signals pop up for a possible long or short, it'll come up here and tell you. Now, right now it's only on a five minute interval. We should have an update coming up soon that'll give us the ability to change this. Right now, the settings are only at five minutes on trade station. So now we're going to link all of these together. Green symbol link, green global symbol link, green global symbol link, green global symbol link, symbol link, green global symbol link. Now, if you click on any of these, it's gonna change all of them. I'm not going to go into editing your matrix window. You should, uh, if you're already using TradeStation, you should be familiar with how to change the font and the size and all that other good stuff uh, with it. Now we're going to edit the dot cloud. We're on the three minute. You're going to right click, format analysis techniques, and we're going to go down to the dot cloud. We're going to format on time frame five. Since it's a three minute, you're gonna put in four, five, 10, 15, and your start frame is always minus one. Then you're going to close. Notice the dot frame change. Right click, format analysis technique, NTF dot cloud format. This is for a five minute. So we're going to go 10, 15, 20. And 30. Click OK. Click Close. Now your MTF.cloud is correct on that one. Now we're going to go on a 15 minute chart. Right click anywhere on the chart. I just like doing the dot cloud because it's there. Format analysis technique. MTF.cloud. Format 
And since this is a 15 minute chart, it's going to be 20, 30, 60, and this one will be 60. Click OK, close. Now your MTF.cloud is updated on your 15 minute. Now, this is the most important thing if you remember anything out of this whole class today. Save workspace as. Do not forget to do this, guys, or you will have to redo all of this and probably have to watch this video again, and I know nobody wants to do that. I like to save my workspaces by date. So we're going to go 05-13-2019. It's already in here because... I shot this video earlier and did not have the microphone hooked up, so I have to record the whole thing again. So we will save that. Oh, there we go. Oh, I have uh, the other workspace open, so let's uh, save this as 2019. A. Save this, and now you're done. Everything is in there, guys. Your dot cloud set up. You got your enabling the background dragging. You're able to adjust your 535 oscillator so that you can see it. Um, you use your arrow up and down buttons in TradeStation, so you can make these bigger or smaller, however you want. Same way over here. And that's it, guys. Trade Station, how to set up your Elliott Wave, Black Box Breakout, and Radar Scanner, and adjust your dot cloud settings. This is JW with Trade the Fifth.